Toby, Tobias, we thank you immensely. Uh, first, I contacted you to find out about South Africa, about Johannesburg. Everyone said, don't go there, it's so <laughs> full of crime and everything. Yeah. We did a wonderful concert over for his family, an intimate house concert, and invited people from the community. And that wouldn't have happened without Toby. <laughs> Good morning from Johannesburg. What a beautiful Saturday morning this is. It always, it's always sunny here in Johannesburg. My name is Toby Tobias. I was born in Johannesburg. I moved to Israel in 1978 and then I settled in New York in 1988. I grew up in Johannesburg. My, I'm the son of a Polish Jewish immigrant and a, a South African born woman, a white Jewish South African born woman. And along with my two sisters, we lived in the white northern suburbs of Johannesburg. Tea on Sundays was always a wonderful time. Under a hot Johannesburg sun, my boy cousins played cricket in the backyard while our fathers smoked cigarettes, drank whiskey, and played poker. Our mothers, my aunts, my sisters, and of course the maids, cut the sandwiches and uh, the cookies and biscuits for tea at four o'clock. A typical Sunday in 1960s racist, sexist, apartheid era Johannesburg. And this is how it was in my uh, neighborhood in Johannesburg. Jewish people, English people, Greeks, Italians, Portuguese, Lebanese, white people. Mind you, there were black people too. And these were the maids and the gardeners who lived in the brick servants' quarters at the back of the homes of the Jewish, English, Greek, Italian, Portuguese, Lebanese, white families. So the first black person that I ever met was my maid, Miriam. She came from Tembisa, just outside Johannesburg. And she made the best gefilte fish I've ever tasted. Her son, Reggie, was the first black kid I ever met. Um, he didn't speak much English, uh, but we used to communicate through soccer, water guns, hide and seek, and just by being boys. I never knew much about Miriam and uh, her son, uh, but being a curious kid, I was a curious child. I, I always wanted to know, who are these people living in my backyard? And so one night, I crept into their servants' quarters, and I noticed that their beds were raised one and a half feet off the ground. A brick was placed beneath uh, the, the, the leg of each of their beds. And that was when I was introduced to the Tokolosh, a knee-high hairy monster created by a wizard uh, to harm his enemies. And he would climb into their beds at night and rape the woman, kill the men, and steal their dreams. And in order to prevent that from happening, they used to place a one foot brick beneath each leg of their beds. I wish I would have placed some bricks beneath my bed as well. My mother died when I was two years old and my stepmother passed away too when I was nine. So Miriam, my black maid, became somewhat of a surrogate mother to me and along with my father, my aunts, and my uncles helped to raise me. These were the people who showed me the way. We did get this song to you, Toby. Hey, yeah.
veins beat into one And I can see the future blazing in the sun I wish you all the love I wish you all the love I wish you all the love in better days, everybody